Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And I know there's a lot of homeowners who watch this channel and seeing the big 60 inch mowers is nice, the $10,000 machines that you'll never run, but sometimes we just have to answer the question, what if I only have $20 to spend on a string trimmer? What then, Brad? Well, you go buy one off Amazon and I'm gonna test it out for you to see how good it is. That's right, for $20 and some cents and almost $22 after tax, you can get an electric string trimmer, but is it any good? Well, let's find out. And my first inclination that this is probably not going to be an ideal product is that the entire thing comes in this box. <laughs> let's open it up and look at our string trimmer that's is almost the size of my head. So despite the fact that this was purchased uh, new from Amazon, we've either got some shipping damage or somebody already tried this and packaged it back up. They didn't like it. So I don't know which one that is. This is the Sunjo 2.8 amp 10 inch electric grass trimmer. Of course, it is not uh, gas or battery powered. You will need an extension cord. The model TRJ608E. And I know you already want one of these yourself. So I went ahead and put a link in the description that lines my pockets with pennies of your dollar if you decide to make a purchase and helps me make videos like these. I can't even keep a straight face saying that. 10 inch string trimmer, that's pretty tiny. You do have a two year warranty, which is nice. This only weighs 3.7 pounds. So if you do have shoulder issues, well, I wouldn't recommend this $20 string trimmer, but if you've got some uh, health or like we said, shoulder issues, definitely look into electric equipment if that's what's gonna keep you from doing lawn care. We've got a cute little guard here. We've got some kind of a dough beater attachment for a mixer or something. A couple of screws, take the tape off of our line cutter. This is a little uh, sharp piece of metal that will cut the line so that too much of it doesn't get fed out at once. All right, and here's how they pack it into such a small box. They break it into sections and accordion it. Hey, look at that. We could win a $20 gift card. This string trimmer would cost nothing. I guess that's if you take some pictures and post it to social media. Oh, oh I'm doing more than taking pictures and posting them to social media, son Joe extend your two-year warranty and get an extra 90 days and then my goodness look at this hefty hefty manual here that we have for a relatively simple string trimmer i guess that's better than the alternative but man that's surprising to see so as we are looking at this i think all we do is slide these things on until our screw holes match up up oh, see here is a little arrow here and here's a little slot so i know i have this on backwards so let's turn that back around. Yeah, much better. So here you can see the little hash marks are lining up and that slides in much nicer. So one screw goes here, one screw goes here and that holds that in. Same thing with this back section. Again, we've got our detents to make sure we're lined up in the right spot. Goodness, look at that thing. That is tiny. Let me go run and get a screwdriver. And I'm gonna be a rebel and use a power tool here, but we're gonna turn the uh, clutch down real low so we don't strip anything out. So again, I don't inherently have anything against uh, electric lawn care equipment. I think it can be a great option for some folks. Maybe not this one exactly, <laughs> but certainly one of the advantages of uh, electric lawn care equipment. And actually there's a couple of different screws here. I need to make sure I'm using the right ones. The great advantages of electric tools is going to be that generally they are cheaper than battery powered electric or gas counterparts. The other thing that's good about them is they're generally gonna be lighter, much lighter than either of those options. The disadvantage is that you will have to have an extension cord that could get pretty long and pretty heavy in itself depending on how big your property is. If you get something like this, it's only $20, obviously this motor is going to be underpowered compared to any electric thing, but it is possible to find corded electric equipment that has motors that are as powerful as their gas or electric battery powered counterparts. Maybe not so much on a mower, but things like hedge trimmers, string trimmers, pole saws, you can get as much or more power from a corded electric machine than you could any gas. Got a nice little plug protector here. Go ahead and pull that out. When we look at our spool, 
we can see that uh, we only have one line, all right? This, I don't think this is a bump feed head either, so I don't know how you advance more line. So there aren't two sides of string. This is just one small string that I believe is uh, 0.069 diameter. So you can see it's pretty anemic there. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a little button on the side. So if we want to feed more line out, we've press this little button and that will release a little bit of line. See how some of it's coming out? Don't do that too much. I don't think you can push it back in. If we pull the cap off here, we see this little spool is where that line is held. So when you run out of line, this is going to be kind of a pain because you're going to have to take this out and spool it manually and then put it back in. You might be able to get away with a little bit bigger line because you do have some clearance here. So I don't know if like a 0.95 is what I usually use or 0.095. This is 0.06 something. So it's a lot smaller, but you might be able to get away with putting something bigger in there. So we'll put that cap back on and get our guard on, which should just be as simple as sliding this in. And got it click in there. And then it does look like we have a screw here. And I just dropped the screw down into the motor head. But that's okay because it came right out. I'm guessing this part is some kind of an arm guard that we can rest everything on, rest our elbow on or something. Push that in. And then we've got two more screws that are going to go on each side of this to retain that in. This little slot right here is so that you can put a loop in here. And then this feeds through this way. And this will feed through this way. And when you plug that in, this way you can't yank your cord out. It gives you a little bit of a slack there. Oh, that thing's got some get up and go. So all I'm doing is leaning this against my arm and squeezing. So I'm gonna go get some safety glasses and we'll try her out. One thing that I can already tell is that this guard interferes with the angle that I can put on the ground here. The grass itself, all of this stuff sits so low to the ground that the ground and the grass itself is uh, binding on this and keeping me from being able to, you know, kind of be smooth with my actions. I don't know if I'm describing that great. Now, I mean, ergonomics aside, it's definitely cutting the grass. Uh, I can't argue that. And since it is only four pounds, this little thing as, as a rest, uh, it actually works. It, it looks like it doesn't provide that much support, and it really doesn't. But again, because the whole thing is only four pounds, um, it kind of works. Now, there is a lot of flex in this. I, if I'm actually using it, you can see how much flex there is in that. So I don't know if this is, this seems like this would be a failure point over time. If this plastic gets a little bit more brittle, uh, I can see this breaking for sure. If this were somehow reinforced with metal, well, if it were reinforced with metal, it wouldn't be $20, but <laughs> this is, could be one failure point. So the string seems to be holding up fairly well. We haven't lost too much of it yet. And so again, if we wanted to let out a little bit of line, because now we can see we are starting to lose some, again, we're just going to find this button here, right there. And if we push that, then we'll be able to pull out a little bit. 
certainly not the easiest uh, string management system that I've seen, but again, for $20, what are you gonna do? Now, one thing we will test is how long this string is gonna last up against brick, and I don't think long at all. So you can see that we are right at the full length of what our guard will allow. Let's see what three seconds up against brick does to it. Okay, so that was just about three seconds of me trying to be up against that brick and you can see that it already ate, oh, I don't know what length that is, but what do you think, maybe 10% of the line? So the line that's included with it's garbage, I think, but if you're maintaining your yard every week and you don't have a ton of brick to trim up against, that might not be an issue. So what do we think about the Sun Joe 10 inch 2.8 amp string trimmer? Well, if you've got more time than money, it might be a good choice. If you've got a very small yard, it might be a good choice. If you're not gonna be chewing this string up against brick or landscaping pavers much, it might be a good choice. If you have some health problems that mean otherwise you wouldn't be able to do the lawn care on your own. You'd have to hire somebody because you can't lift certain weights or you know, you've got other restrictions that limit what you do, it might work for you. I can tell you that that string management, whether it's letting more string out or refilling this when your string is empty, that will be a pain point for this machine. The other thing at 5'9", I'm not very tall, but I didn't like the angle that this thing sat at when I was using it. It was, a, it was an awkward angle, and at certain places the ground interfered with the performance of the machine. That's another issue. If you're much taller or much shorter, your experience probably will be different. I just don't know if it's good different or bad different. The instructions also seem to think that you're gonna use two hands on this. It tells you to put both hands on. I don't know if they want you to do something like this, um, but at least for me, this was a one-handed thing. I mean, it's, it's not gonna be comfortable for me to put both hands on. As it was, using it like this, it was more comfortable than I thought it would be. Maybe not as comfortable as you know what I'm used to, but much more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. So again, at four pounds, this is really good if you just don't physically, if you've got limitations and this is all you can do, uh, this might be worth looking at, especially for 20 bucks. And I will say, even though I'm making complete fun of their product here, uh, Sun Joe is a decent company, at least from what I've seen as far as warranties. So with a two year warranty, if this motor does burn out in a summer, at least you know, okay, well, my $20 wasn't wasted. <laughs> I can get a replacement unit from Sun Joe. But yeah, so there's definitely gonna be some things that make this not for, I would even say most people. But I think there are some people who this might work for. It's gonna be people who have very small areas to maintain or people who physically have to look at something as light as corded electric. Uh, it's certainly not gonna be for your oddly satisfying tall grass yards. It's not gonna be folks with, I mean, I've got uh, about a third of an acre, three tenths of an acre, and I know I would not use it on this. It's just, you know, having to pull the cord everywhere, it's a pain. The Sun Joe 2.8 amp 10 inch string trimmer Definitely not for everyone, might be for some people. $20, that's what this gets you. $20 string trimmer, this is what it looks like. Thanks so much for watching, I really do appreciate it.